Most iPhone and iOS fans, when they watch WWDC 2023, probably have been disappointed with iOS 17. But it's not like that at all. This is an amazing update and I feel like every time I unlock my device, I find a new feature, which is really, really cool. Like this one right here. You know the old shake to undo trick? Well, right on the home screen here, I can move a widget. You probably have done this sometimes by accident, a widget, or maybe even an icon. What I can do now is just shake my device you can see it shows undo and where did the widget go of course it turned back on its place that's really cool this will work with widgets and app icons as well all you need to do is make sure that you have this actually enabled and you can enable it by going under accessibility touch and then you will have shake to undo here make sure it's enabled and you're good to go now here's another really great one. It solves a problem that iOS users have had for years now. How many times you had a great picture like this one, but if you try to add this as a wallpaper for a device, you will have to zoom in a lot here in order for this to work as a wallpaper. Well, what you can do now on iOS 17 is simply use it as a wallpaper and then iOS itself will make that part like blurred right there. You can see so that it fits on the wallpaper here and it actually looks quite good. It just blends in seamlessly there and it looks amazing. Now you can basically set any picture you want as a wallpaper. And when it comes to wallpapers, here is another great one. So here we have the same picture again. Let's say I wanna turn this into a wallpaper, but I don't wanna use that feature. I just wanna crop it. So what I can do here is zoom in on the picture at the place where I want it to be like this. Let's say this, for example. And now it will automatically show me a crop button right there. What I have to do now is tap the crop button and there it goes. It will automatically crop it. All I have to do now is tap done. And there we have a new wallpaper for our iOS 17 device. You will now take better pictures with the camera app on iOS 17. When you go to the camera app on iOS 17, you will have here the normal grids that we have on previous iOS versions, but we also have something called a leveler right there. So you can see how it bends like that. So once it's leveled, it will turn yellow and you will also get a haptic feedback on your device. So you know that you have the camera of your iPhone leveled in the correct way and you can go ahead and take an amazing picture. Now to enable that, you will have, need to head on to the settings app and go under the camera settings. And right here, you will find the level, make sure you have that enabled, and then you will get it on the camera app of your device. There is a new way to clear the history of your browser on iOS 17. So let's head on to settings. Now you will find the same view on Safari as well, but let's go through settings here. Here we have Safari. Scroll all the way down here to clear the history and website data from our device. When you tap here, you will get a new view. Now what you can do here is choose what you want to clear. The last hour, the today's history, today and yesterday, or all the history. And then you will have clear for profile. So with Safari on iOS 17, we get those profiles. I talked about those on previous videos where you can create profiles with tabs on them. So you can choose to basically clear everything or maybe the history of just a profile. And then it also gives you the option to close the tabs that you have open. So when you clear the history, also the tabs will be closed. You can choose whether you want to do that or not. Now you can do conversions in Safari. So if I choose there, in this case, $2, I can go ahead and choose peso right here and you can Google it and see what's $2 in pesos. Or I can just tap it right there and you can see right there, Safari at the top will show me the result and it also shows you just right there a copy button. So if you need that result, you can just tap that and it will be copied to your clipboard. Shazam now works with live activities and the dynamic island. So if you have Shazam enabled here from the control center, it shows right there at the top that it's listening, you can close it. And you will see right there it's still listening in the background. And if you go to your lock screen, you will have it right here on your live activity. It will also show that 
when you try to just listen to the song again and find it again and also when it gets a result it will show a different way so let's just try this out so this is how it looks once it has found the song it will pop up like that and it will give you the option there to listen on apple music which is really cool now the same will happen even on live activity it shows right there and you can tap to open it on apple music with ios 17 apple has given us the ability to create multiple timers on the clock app and it has a really cool feature which allows us to add labels to these timers so without labels of course you cannot have a bunch of timers because you don't know what is what so we can start this with that label and we can go to another one right here and of course add another label what it does also it lets you create timers using these presets right here which is really cool and if you have multiple timers enabled at the same time of course you will also get them right here on the lock screen via live activities all you have to do is just tap to show all of them as you probably know we got a new menu with iMessage on iOS 17 so you don't have the menu with the apps and all the features here we have it right here now what you can do with this menu is tap here to show all of your apps and go back right here to the functions now what you can also do is tap and hold one of them and you can actually rearrange these any way you like so of course the ones that you might use the most you put them at the top you remove the other ones also with the apps you can do the same here so tap and hold you can go ahead and rearrange any of them as easy as that Another great change that Apple has made on iOS 17 when it comes to messages is that you can now go to your settings and you can actually edit your iMessage apps. Previously you couldn't do this, you have now a section here that is dedicated to that. So you go to messages here and you have iMessage apps and you will find a list of all the apps that you have installed on your device that actually work with iMessage. Now the thing here that you need to be careful is that if you delete one of these apps from your iMessage, it will also delete the app from your device. So right here it says that deleting an app will also delete it from your home screen and from iMessage. So just keep in mind, you're not just deleting it from your iMessage, you're deleting it completely from your device. Now with iOS 17, we got a lot of cool new features on the spotlight search and this is one of them if you search for reminders on the spotlight search it will show you the reminders app but also your scheduled your today's reminders and all of your reminders so you don't have to open the app you can go directly to any of these sections that you might need just like that from the spotlight search that will make it very very easy for you to find exactly what you're looking for you can do that with notes with files it shows recent files recent notes and it's pretty useful so overall ios 17 is turning out to be a great update with a ton of new features and changes and i cannot wait to see what beta 2 will have in stores for us probably in about two weeks we will have beta 2 most likely with a bunch of other amazing new features so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead subscribe for more ios 17 videos leave a like on this one and i will see you on the next video